All right, so when I was talking about um, embossing and using Copics, I was saying to only use clear powder because the um, Copics would start to eat away at the embossing powder, and that is absolutely true. But if you're quick, there is a fun technique that you can do with white embossing powder. So I've got a stamp here that just has a bunch of Christmas text. I am, um, I just inked it up with some Versamark, which is good for embossing. I am going to pick up my cardstock here. You can do this with any um, stamp that you want. I just think it looks really, really cool with this text one. So I've got my powder on there. It's there where it missed, but it looks like it just wasn't inked super, super well. So I am going to em emboss that powder. the excess powder back in the container. And there is some imperfections in there, but I just left them in there. But what you can do now is, if you wanted to highlight some of the words, you could use your Copic very quick. Now again, you wanna use it quick because if you look at the tip of your, it did start to break down the embossing powder so you don't want to take your time with it you want to do it very quick but it's just a fun technique it only works on black powder be or black cardstock because you're coloring Copic right onto the cardstock and because of the black and because Copic is translucent it hides it but um, it's just a fun technique to do just for something a little bit different. So I'm gonna do one more. Let's just do this one here. If I would have thought it, about it a little bit more, I would have swapped those two, which is a fun technique to do. You could cut these out and use them on the fronts of cards. You could use this as a background of a card. You could use um, an image if you wanted, but again, you wanna make sure that you're working quickly so that you're not breaking down the embossing powder um, and ruining your Copic tips, but just a little fun technique that you can do in your crafts.